Okay, we're going to go through this example and so have your example pulled out. We're going to name A, H, and K from a graph, which is essentially what you needed to do for problem number two. So the first thing we're going to do is name the A. If you look at your A, H, and K foldable, you'll remember that we don't start at 0, 0 to name A. We have to start at a specific point depending on the function. So since this is a cubic function, we're going to start at this turning point right here. And again, if you look at the notes, it tells you to move right one. And remember, you're moving one hole, not just one little box, one hole. And then we're going to move up one, two, three. So that's our A value. So we have an A value of three. And we're going to describe that right now. Since that's greater than one, that's going to be a stretch. Then we're going to move our, to figure out our HK. This time we are going to start from the origin because if you think about it, the original parent looks something like this. So the starting point started here and now it's all the way down here. So we have to ask ourselves, how did this point go from here to here? And in this case, we shifted down two. That's our K value. Since our turning point here didn't shift left or right, our H is zero. So the only thing we have is just down two, if you prefer to write down two. So now we've described A, H, and K from a graph. Now it's your turn.